Hi everyone, and this is Andy with Bloomer.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the integration between Soho CRM and Soho Sign so you can generate contracts or documents from Soho CRM and it will auto-populate fields with information that you already have in the CRM. Alright, let's start. So I'm already in Soho Sign and the first thing we're going to do is create a template. So let's click on templates and then on create template. And here you can upload your document. You can either drag and drop or upload from your computer clicking on this button or in my case I'm going to import from cloud. And my document is this one says test agreement. In this case we're going to require two signatures. One is going to be my client and the other one is going to be myself. So here it says role I'm going to type client and then I'm going to add another person with this plus button and I'm going to click where it says add me. And I'm just going to type my name here. And then we have more options if we scroll down. For example, this is a note that we can add and all the recipients are going to get it in the email notification that they get when you send the contract. So in this case, I'm going to add a short note. And we're going to click on continue. And here's where you're going to add different fields that you require for this document. So first, we're going to add these type of fields for field by you. And these are the fields that are going to be auto-populated by the CRM. So client name is going to be full name. And then total payments is going to be a text. And I'm going to click on it and edit the label. And close this. And then payment amount is also going to be text. Click on it. Edit the label. And finally, we're going to do the total amount that is also going to be text. All right. Now we're going to do the client signature. So select the recipient. And then we're going to scroll down here. And we're going to add the signature on this side. You can make these fields bigger if you want. And then we're going to do the sign date. There we go. And now we're going to click here on my name and I'm also going to do signature and sign it. All right, so the template is ready and we're going to click on save. And now that we have the template, we have to continue in Zoho CRM. So I have already opened the setup page and we're going to click on all here under marketplace. And then here in the search bar, we're going to type Soho Sign. And the one that you're looking for is this one, Soho Sign for Soho CRM. And then click on Install. Scroll. Accept this one and click on Install again. And then you have to check these two boxes and continue to install. And in this case, I'm going to install it for all the users. And now the extension has been installed. So we're going to go to the deals and then open this test deal that I have here. And as you can see here, I already have the fields that I need in the contract. So it would be the amount, number of payments, and payment amount. So you have to add those fields to the layout before sending the contract for the first time. If you don't know how to edit a layout, I'm going to leave a video in the description below. All right, so we got this new button here which says send with Zoho sign and I'm going to click on it and this new window opens. So we're going to select here use template, Zoho sign template and then we're going to select the one that we just added, test agreement PDF and click on add. And here we have to select which fields in the CRM represent the fields in the contract. This has to be done once only the first time that you send this document. After the first time, this information is going to be auto-populated automatically. So for full name, we're going to select contact name and then total payments is going to be number of payments and then payment amount, this one. And finally, total amount is going to be the amount. All right, now we can review these other fields. So in this case, the client is the main contact related to this deal. 
if you have multiple contacts in the same deal and you want to send a contract to someone else that is not the main contact, then you will have to send this document from the contact module. All right, here we have the node that we added to the template before and on the bottom we have two options. We can do a quick send or we can click on next and review the contract. So if we click on quick send, it's gonna send the contract right away. But if it is the first time and you want to review that everything looks good, you can just click on next and then scroll down and click on continue. And we can review that we have the client name, payments, payment amount, and total amount. And if we scroll down, we can see the signature area. All right, everything looks good. So I'm gonna click on send. And finally on confirm. Now the document has been sent and we can close this window. And I'm gonna refresh the page to show you something else. If we go all the way down in this panel, we can see that it says, so assign documents. And we can see that the document is here. And of course we can also change the fields that we see. So click on this icon and then we can search for date here. And then let's do status. Save. Now we can see that this document has been sent on November the 11th and it is out for signature. All right, now I'm gonna switch screens and I'm gonna show you what the client would see when they get the email notification. So this is a notification that the client is gonna get and when he opens it, we can see that it says start signing and they can click there and then proceed to document. And they just need to click on this box and agree and continue and just add the signature and click here for the date. Then click on finish. And they already signed their part. In this case, it's a two part document. So now you're gonna get an email saying that the client already signed and now it's your turn. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.